Well, sponsoring refugee families um, and being partners with refugee families has been, I think, one of the most important glimpses of ministry and, and actions of ministry that we've been involved in because it's provided us with so many opportunities to, to make new friends. This church has been very intentional that we were willing to settle families of all different religious traditions and we really many I think in that in our refugee resettlement ministry believe what one other preacher once said is that um, Jesus may be the way for us but the way of Jesus teaches us to respect those who call God by another name and so they the refugee families of all faith traditions have enriched who we are and have enriched our life together. Each year we sponsor at least one family. I think last year we did two because they were related. But when we decide to sponsor a family, we are notified um, sometime in advance. We start then to collect all of the, the things for the apartment. We usually try and get you know some kind of a group together to go and meet them at the airport and bring them home. And then we usually have a couple of people who tend to be the ones that are the contact people for that family. We really see ourselves as partners with them beginning a new life. And we don't see us as um, saving them or um, inspiring them, but we really see them as partners in starting a new life and they are, they are helping to shape who we are as well and a new life for us as well in our congregation. Um, the thing I enjoy the most with working with the refugee families is just getting to know them and seeing their progress week to week. And, you know, when you come one week and, and uh, you know, they've made new friends and there's always people there introducing you and, um, and then coming week after week and seeing them just getting established in their community and seeing them take the apartment that you set up for them and changing things around and making it their home. I think it's been really good for our church to sponsor refugee families over the years because there's been so many different cultures and even different religions introduced. And I think for our church it's also been great because it's a multi-generational effort. Um, there's something that kids can be involved with and older you know, members of the church can be involved with. I think it's been great, a great learning experience. Even if you're not directly involved, just being able to keep tabs and hearing the news and it's been very inspiring to hear how people from the first time when we set up their apartment to years later to hear how they're doing. I think that that's been inspiring for everyone whether you're directly related or not. Sponsoring a refugee family is definitely a journey of hope for the church because a church to me anyway is not just bricks and mortar. A church doesn't really need bricks and mortar. It is what you give to other people and what you receive by giving. So to me, that is a journey of hope.